Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Automation Empire. This whole area down here has just turned into a big, giant mess. Well, I would say that, but uh, that would imply that it wasn't a big, giant mess before, and it, it pretty much always has been. Um, but it has been calculated uh, rather meticulously to get us to a specific goal. We're getting to trying to get to a goal of 6,000. Uh, every three months so that we could unlock the combiner and uh, look at that right on the money uh, Not even one kilogram more. It's all part of my my big plan. <laughs> oh No, um, I realize this is a big mess and I know that there's a lot of things that need to be done <laughs> to make this run a lot smoother uh, Right now. It's just kind of the idea of just throw stuff at it until we got to that goal uh, I didn't want to make any major changes because it we, we were moving stuff out, you know, we were moving stuff out. Uh, but we got that goal now, and uh, I think it's time we look into doing a, a bit of refactoring in the base. Um, the combiner, let's see, can we go ahead and just, just unlock it? We've got everything we need. Let's do it. All right, and the combiner uh, doesn't take crates. It takes uh, from transfer tube ports. Uh, so what that means is we don't have to set up a setup like this, a crater or anything like that. Uh, we can actually load directly from the train, in, from a transfer tube, just like these guys right down here. Um, so in that thought, um, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have gold be made here uh, when both of our gold mines are up there. I think it makes a little bit more sense to make our, our gold processing center up here uh, to go ahead and refine it and then take that refined gold and then send it off uh, somewhere else to, to a more central area. Uh, maybe do our iron uh, somewhere ne next to the iron mines, uh, coal next to the coal mines, and then move it to like a central location where we can uh, basically unload it into these combiners and uh, make things go. Uh, plus, this is a big mess, and uh, something needs to be done about that. Uh, so it's a been a little bit of time uh, since we've had a time. Actually, I don't think we've done a time lapse at all this series. Uh, so let's... Uh, you know, let, let, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, so this all looks certainly a lot cleaner, especially over in this area. I basically just deleted all that factory that we had before and uh, replaced it with three. Um, we're making the same stuff that we did before, uh, pretty much exactly. Uh, it's just it's just looking a little bit different and should be a little bit more efficient, I think. Uh, this is the gold area. Um, the train will basically feed through here. I've got two trains and uh, I'm wanting to here, let's just go ahead. We can't connect these two tracks together because there's a train over here and a train. Actually, this train, this train doesn't need to be here anymore. Uh, it's we, we can it, it doesn't cost us anything. I don't know why I'm trying to save it. 
Uh, but now that we only have one train, we can actually connect those now. Okay, uh, so the train, kind of like we did in the iron before, it'll just kind of go back and forth, uh, but it'll be closer to this one uh, so that it'll always get like a nice infusion. Um, it'll go fill up there, uh, then uh, drop off here, then fill, do a quick fill up here before it goes and does his long trip again. Um, in the time lapse, I actually had three storage containers down here. Um, I, as you can see, there's gold out on the line here. Uh, I accidentally plugged it in. Um, I have since, uh, I moved the power over to this corner and I've just deleted it so that we don't have that. Uh, cause we're not producing anything right now. Uh, we're not selling anything right now. So money will just drain out if we don't have it, if we accidentally unpause it. Anyway, I'm saying a lot of things here. Um, I replaced that with one big one. Uh, because with the three, uh, the train coming in would only favor the first one. Um, that's kind of what I realized as I was looking at that. And the other two would just back up, and we wouldn't get three running at a time. We would only have really one. Uh, with the big tank here, uh, we, we can, um, you know, it all goes into one, so it all feeds evenly out. And uh, I left an extra space here, so with a little bit of finagling, we could run two trains in here if we needed to. But, uh... Uh, right now, it's just set up for one. We'd have to we'd have to move some stuff around, but I think we could possibly pull two gold trains off that uh, should we need some more throughput. Uh, this design's a little bit wider. It's a nine by nine. Uh, there's a lot of empty space here. Over in the iron, I modified it a little bit to make them all kind of facing the same way, and uh, that basically cut a tile off of each side. Um, so with a seven by nine, uh, this will fit in it now. And there may be a way to compact this a little bit more. I didn't really look into it. Uh, but yeah, same setup over here. There were three. Now there's one. And uh, basically these are going to make our iron. They're going to re refine the iron ore into iron, uh, gold ore into gold. And then they're going to come out here on these tracks and uh, head this way. Um, over here, I've got one for coal. We've got some coal deposits over here. I'm only doing one coal because, well, here's my thought. Um, if we look at the recipes here, uh, now that we have the combiner, we can combine two things and make one. Uh, we can make steel right now with iron and um, coal, and we can make gold right now with, uh, or we can make capacitors right now with gold and iron. Uh, and we could also make... Uh, gold fuel. We're actually going to need that. Oh, we're going to need all the things. So, well, we'll expand coal out someday. Um, but my initial thought is we'll focus on the capacitors because they're worth more money. Um, if we look at our price list, they're worth 3100 uh, So we want to make everything we can out of that. But but gold produces a little bit slower than iron. Uh, it is, um, what is it? Uh, do you not want to tell me? Uh, you're one per 13 seconds, and you are one per 11 seconds. So we're going to have a little excess iron, and uh, that's what the coal's over here. We'll just we'll just do the rest of it in a steel, and uh, it'll be fine. Uh, it's not research right now that I'm focusing on. It's it's more just making the money. Um, so yeah, we we unlocked the. Uh, it is called a combiner, right? Yes, it is called a combiner. Uh, so let's just throw a factory down here, and uh, let's see how these things work. Um, they don't take crates. Um, they actually take the raw resources, uh, which is why I'm uh, training in those, uh, so we can just suck them up directly in there. Um, somehow I feel that is not going to work. Uh, so we have a port on the side, a port on the other side. I think those are our two inputs, and then we have a port on this side, which is going to be our output. Hmm... All right, well, let's just uh, let's just throw th some things out here and uh, let's see what we can come up with. Uh, what if we did this off of like a storage tank and fed you into a storage tank? Uh, that would make sense, right? That 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 kind of works. Uh, we could run uh, some rails coming on like that side. And some rails coming on that side with ingredient one, ingredient two. Um, actually, you know what? We don't even need that storage fist, that that there. Uh, we could uh, we could just run directly with uh, with one of the uh, sucker uppers, transfer tubes. Sorry, uh, they're going to be sucker uppers for me. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's just let's just let's just go with this idea and uh, see where it ends up. Uh, the first one never works. Um, all right, that would actually have to stop because, would it? 
Well, I mean, we could we could suck this out with the train here. Uh, that would be a output. Uh, look here. Let's just let's just fix that. Uh, that would be an output. And uh, let's see. We don't really have any good way. Um. Well, I mean, I guess we could. Uh, technically, I think we just need one spot right there for that to unload. And can we fit? No, of course not. Uh, why would we we be able to do that? Um, okay, let's just uh, let's just set this. I, I I don't I'm not I'm not very optimistic about this approach. I'm just uh, saying, hey, let's let's just let's just check it out. Let's just see. Uh, we want uh, basically one of those tracks. I think is what needs to go under there. And uh, then if we did one of these. Would you be able to go under that? All right, and that would basically repeat. We do the same on that side. And we'd have that little squiggle. Boy, that is a big footprint, and that is very ugly. If we didn't have these transfer tanks, and that would be even that would be even sillier, right? Uh, we would have to do um, let's see. Uh, that's that would be an input. Uh, that would be an input. We'd have a straight track there, and uh, that would curl. Uh, that would actually work out better. We wouldn't need any squiggles, but boy, that would be uh, that's a big footprint. Uh, I, I there, there's got to be a better way. Uh, so with this. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that, too. I would like this to be, you know, like, super compact. Uh, what if we... What if we got one of the, the big ones? Would one of the big storage tanks fit here? Yeah. I'm not gonna put the little things in here, but we could do something like that. And we'd feed two of them off of that. And technically, we could tile that. There'd be two big giant storage tanks. I, that seems ridiculous. Uh, these things hold 120. These make one per nine seconds. That, that's that's it's an idea. I don't know that that's that's our idea though. Um, this was a lot easier in my head. Um, okay. So what if we? Uh, sucker upper there, sucker upper there. That's going to be inputs. Uh, so if we ran, if we got a train going like that, and a train going like that, and then we sent this out. to a belt. Uh, we don't have any way... Belts don't, like, cross tracks. No, of course not. Of course not. That would that would be silly. Um, if we delivered... Uh, can we not drop, like, empty boxes here? I guess not. Okay. Uh, so that's out. Uh, but we could deliver boxes, right? Um, so, okay, uh, let's see. Let's do a load station. And um, then an unload station right there. That right there. Uh, that. That that and then we could unload onto a train like that 
All right. And that's our full thing, right? Uh, we could either deliver whatever item here via uh, by a robots, or we could even we could even use a claw train. Well, if we used a claw train, let's see, we would actually have to get those on separate planes, I believe. Um, unless. Uh, let's see, that's going to be our drop. Can we specify? No, we can't specify the drop there. And I'm not sure. I don't know if this, uh, if this filters off. Like if we said that's only iron, would that work for the claw train drop off? Might. Uh, then we would have to have a claw train. Uh, that might be tough to finagle the logistics on that since we can't set the individual claws because it would almost have to be. We can't have two claw trains. And I don't know that we could uh, reliably control the ratio of stuff that they grab. Hmm. So just to be safe, I think we would have to take that out one and do something like that. And then have a claw train running there with one resource and a claw train running there with another resource. And we would just line them up like that and we'd be able to support. Uh, let's see, you make one per nine seconds. Um, a crate machine is one per three-ish seconds, so I'm guessing that these are going to be one per nine-ish seconds. Uh, so one crate machine would do three of those. Uh, we send the crates out. Uh, claw train runs, grabs them, places them down. Those do. We have this rail coming, picking up the stuff and uh, dropping it off. I think that works. Um, I think that works for me. Maybe. All right, have to have to have to give that one a think. Um, all right, there's something else I want to do too, and that is uh, uh, delete all this. Uh, we currently have six depots. I want. I want more. I don't know how many more. I'll see how many we can fit. But for right now, I don't think that's that's going to be going to be enough. Uh, our next target that we need to hit um, especially comes in hand when dealing with large combiner systems. Huh. I concur. Uh, with six, we were able to get six thousand. Um, I don't know if that is that one per a thousand ratio is going to hold true. Uh, you are at 8,000, so we need to get 200 more of you to get the freight train, which I think is going to answer a lot of our problems. Um, farming, I, I don't know what that is for. And I don't know how we win the game. Do we do we launch a rocket? Oh, we need ethanol, so that's we need farming farming to win the game. Okay. Uh, so our next one is uh, the freight train, and I'm I'm assuming that's going to give us a lot more throughput than the trucks. That was the point. We need two thousand more to do that. Um. Okay. Let's just uh, let's just play here. Uh, road exits. Uh, the first one we can pretty much place anywhere, but it does need to go into a cliff. And I don't think we're going to do any better than that right there. Okay, and these can go a little bit closer together. Um, that's going to essentially double it. Uh, so I guess we'd be bound by this one right here, right? And uh, there's no way we could place that down and have that work. 
Um, what if we... What if we did that? Uh, those need to be two, spaced two apart so we can fit depots in there. Now we brought all those to that line. Can we go ahead and trim that off one? Yes, we can. Uh, so that there, and then throw down some depots, or pit stops. That was, that was not correct. Um, that's four. Uh, that is eight. And we did that right there. That would be 12. <laughs> Math is hard. Um, and that could go into there. And that could go into there. And let's just make sure we can get exits. Oh, uh, we sure. Uh, that was not where I clicked. There. And there. Like that? Um, is there a better way to do that? Not that I know of. Um, unless we wanted to take it this way. But I, I don't know that there's enough room. Uh, there might be. I don't know. Uh, but this gives us a nice manufacturing space and possibly some space here uh, to, to hold some buffers. And uh, then by keeping this by two, so a claw train can hold uh, 12 items, uh, have 12 claws on it. And each one of these pit stops can hold six. So if we were to look at this again, which seemed to be very, very inefficient to me, uh, but we could uh, basically, with one claw train, support two of these and feed these all by claw train and maybe, like, dedicate resources to them. So this could be, like, uh, the capacitor one, uh, this could be the steel one, and this could be the miscellaneous one <laughs> that we throw the extra stuff into. Um... Yeah, with like a, a little storage place over here that the, or or probably maybe even over here where the, uh, the claw trains come out of. Well, these are thoughts that I have. Um, these are thoughts. Uh, we have uh, 1,400,000 basically to, to, to deal, to mess with here. I, I do want to, in the next episode, get, uh, get the capacitor manufacturing up and maybe get a little facility for making uh, steel as well. Uh, we also need to get research back up, uh, but that's going to be my low priority right now until we get production and trucks loaded again. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode uh, where hopefully we can get some trucks out here on these lines and uh, get some of this stuff being made. Thank you for watching. See you next time.